All right, we are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. Today is the 14th of April, 2019. It is currently 11.38 p.m. Eastern Time. And the first thing I want to do is I always give credit where credit is due. I heard this information from one of my uh, people that I subscribe to, awesome channel. Uh, his name is Reggie Simmons, and his uh, YouTube channel is Reggie Collects. Uh, hopefully, if he watches this, he will put a link to his channel and even his video. So if you are not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. But we've got some interesting rumors as of now. Nothing has been confirmed. So I want to make sure I specify that, that as of now, this is this is just a rumor. Um, so we cannot guarantee it. But um, how long ago, if you've been watching my channel, how long ago was I telling people to get books like the She-Hulk? Now... I got this book um, probably two or three years ago. This is the book you want to look for just in case because you know what's going to happen. As soon as there's a rumor, what happens? People go out and they go and purchase books. And what happens to the prices? They go up. So I bought several of these years ago. It's the only 9.8 I have, but I have several copies, a couple graded 7.5s, a, a bunch of them ungraded. But as of now, there is a rumor going around that um, a couple of a couple of websites, and I checked, there aren't any major websites that are giving this information out. So take this information with a grain of salt. But I always tell people better to be early than late, just in case. But they did rumor that Mark Ruffalo is going to be starring in a Disney uh, TV show where they're going to basically switch it over to the She-Hulk. So. Um, you know what's going to happen to this book. You already are going to see people. I already saw prices already going up. I'm seeing 9.8s now already, five to six hundred dollars. I think I paid either 125 or 150 dollars for this book a couple years ago, and as you could see, it's a 9.8. Um, those of you who watch my channel, now I know there are some people out there that want to say negative things about me and all this other stuff and have people stay away, and that's fine. They have their right to their opinions, whatever. But if you notice my track record on books that I tried years ago to tell people to get, The Ultimate Fallout 4s, The Edge of Spider-Verse 2s, um, talking about the first Silk, comics like that, even the first Spider-Woman, because remember, Jessica, um, Jessica Drew is her name. She's going to be, they confirm that she will be in one of the next future Spider-Man movies. Now, we they didn't confirm that it would be actually Spider-Woman at that point, but Jessica Drew, who becomes Spider-Woman, is going to be in the next movie. So whether she becomes Spider-Woman or not is um, remains to be seen. But I was telling people to get this book, again, back in 2016, because I know, especially these days when there are so many female-driven characters, it's just a matter of time before they start getting to ones like this. So... Um, if you know anything about the history of She-Hulk, she gets her powers basically, and I don't know if they'll use it or, like I said, I don't know if this is confirmed yet, but she gets a blood transfusion from Bruce Banner, her cousin. So um, this is a book, if you haven't gotten it, you may want to get it, but I cannot stress enough, as of now, it is just a rumor. But you know what will happen is, what, to this book if it becomes something confirmed. A lot of times there's rumors that go around and the people who get it early are the ones that save a lot of money. Not every one of them comes true or some of them had the potential of coming true and then it just never ha happened. You know, look what happened to all those movies that Fox was supposed to do and now because of the merger they're not doing them. You know, look at TV shows that they say, you know, a book is going to be based on, a TV show is going to be based on a comic book and it never happens. So keep that in mind. And also, you know, sometimes people make rumors. So I cannot confirm this at, the, at this time, but I want to share the information just in case, because if it ends up being true, this is going to be a book that a lot of people are going to regret passing up when they could have gotten them cheap. So it's basically still early now. This is the book you really want to get. This is her first appearance. This is Savage She-Hulk issue number one. Now, obviously, at this point, 9.8s are probably going to be three, four, five, six hundred dollars. Like I said, I saw. So you might, unfortunately, 
not be able to take advantage of that. You never know. I mean, I can't assume that you can't, um, but I would start looking for this book and even get lower grade because like I've said to people, even lower grade is better than no grade. Um, I bought these books years ago. I probably averaged about 14 to $20 a piece. Um, if this ends up being true, I guarantee this will be a $900 book in about another six months to a year from now. So this is one of the things I'm trying to stress to people. Don't wait until the last minute because anybody that said, oh, well, you know, we got plenty of time and, you know, I saw opportunities, but I passed them up. People now are going to spend two, three, four, five times the amount. And if, and remember, like I said, if it this happens and it is confirmed and they are going to do it, how much do you think the books are going to go then? So this is something hopefully people will learn. Look at some of my old videos about books that I have recommended in the past. Now, obviously, I don't get every single one of them right because I have no control what Hollywood puts out in a movie or a TV show. But I used to have sources that used to tell me this stuff years ago. And the funny part is my quote-unquote haters, the ones out there that just have nothing but negative things to say about me, they always used to laugh at my sources. And yet, time and time again, I mean, some of them took years but they're coming out to be true or at least potentially true. So I, I cannot stress enough, there is no guarantee this this rumor is true. It doesn't guarantee it's going to happen. It doesn't even guarantee if it does that people will like it. You never know. You are taking chances. And that's why I always tell people, if you are going to take the chance, better to spend less money and have it fail, if that's the case, than spend more money. So... I don't ever, back in the days when people were laughing at me for buying this book, like I said, I spent about $125 to $150 for this book. I'm already starting to see it for $600. Just imagine once this starts getting out there, what the prices are going to be. So don't wait too long because you're going to regret the fact, see you later, wife, you're going to regret the fact that you missed these opportunities Check out my videos. Check out my playlist. Look at some of the comics I've referred over the years. Look how many I got right. You know, uh, no one's going to get everything 100% right. But if you look at the ratio of the things that I've predicted that ended up being, you know, pretty close to spot on, I know what I'm talking about because I do the research. I pay attention. I get the information. So I don't want this video too long. Um, if you're just coming in, there are rumors that She-Hulk may be getting a TV show. It is a rumor as of now. I cannot stress that enough. Um, this is a book you should have picked up years ago, but um, it's not too late at this point because once the information really starts getting mainstream, People are going to be, you know what's going to happen with people on eBay. This book is not going to be on eBay. I'm holding on to this until I find out what's happening because I, I buy things before they become desirable. That's the best time to get them when nobody else wants them. But unfortunately, 90% of the people out there are now going to buy it because everybody else wants it. Now, which means the day before this... They probably could have gotten a 9.8 for 150, maybe 200. Now they're going to spend five, six, seven hundred. So I mean, if you like spending more money, then just sit around and wait until somebody else tells you what to do, or get it to take the chance. Because if this doesn't work out, I didn't spend 600 dollars on it, and I'm trying to instill that in people. So when it comes to any risk, there are no guarantees at this point. So better to take a chance at lower prices than going with all this hype. Because let's say all of this is just hype or it's just plain BS. Let's assume that the three or four channels, um, the three or four's news articles, let's just say they made them as an April Fool's joke. I mean, that's possible. If you spent $600 on this book now, you're going to regret it. But me, a couple years ago, buying this because I liked the character and I knew it had potential, paying $125, $150, i am not going to be that upset. So the idea is to get it beforehand. So share this video. If you have this book, congratulations. And like I said, sometimes it takes years for books to become something. But that's great. That means it gives you years to stock up on them. Because I probably have five or six copies of this book. 
Not of all 9.8s, unfortunately. It's the only 9.8 I bought. But I do know I have at least one other graded one that's like a 7.5 that I think I spent 30 bucks on. And I got a bunch of ungraded versions of this book. Probably at least four or five books, if not more. So, get out there. Look, look at some of my old videos. Check out what things that I recommend. Keep in mind, there are risks involved. I don't guarantee everything. But if you look at my track record of all the books that I've predicted that would be, you know, coming into fruition. I mean, I was telling people to get Ultimate Fallout 4 when you could get it for $10. That book's a $100 book now. And you haven't even scratched the surface of that book. I bought 10 to 12 Edge of Spider-Verse number twos when they were about an average of $20 to $30. That's about a $150 book at this point. In a 9.8, it's like a $400 book. So get out there. Remember, don't just buy the first thing you see. Try and make a deal. Try and look for a deal. Go hunting. Go to yard sales. Go to your comic book stores. Do what it takes. Use this brain to find other ways. Maybe do a trade. I would not recommend right now spending $600 on this book at a 9.8. Because you are taking a big risk, and if it doesn't work out, that's a big chunk of change. So, you do what you think is right. I hope you will share this. And again, I saw this from a video from Reggie Collects. Uh, he's a great guy. Love his channel. Love him to death. He's a great person, great human being. And um, I want to make sure I give the shout-out. So, I did it in the beginning, just in case, if you're just coming in now. Go sign up in his channel. And uh, let's hope the rumor's true. I would love to see a She-Hulk movie. I actually thought She-Hulk would be around with Daredevil because she is a New York lawyer. But unfortunately with Netflix, that went, you know, that disappeared. But um, who knows? We'll see what happens. So if this is a rumor, that's a great rumor. I hope it comes true. I mean, I'm very happy that I bought this years ago. And I know many people that did listen to my advice. I guarantee you they're going to be happy as well. So... If you appreciate this kind of information, give it a thumbs up. Go over to Reggie's channel. If you see his video, please give him a thumbs up. Subscribe to me and him or anybody else. I don't care. Do whatever you want. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And today's surprise subscriber shout out will go to Mr. Rockfish01. Enjoy the rest of your night, everybody. I'll see you next video.